How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out our latest delivery of this 2020 Ford Intercept Utility for the Glen Rock Police Department. It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. What we're looking at today is this 2020 Ford Interceptor Utility for the Glen Rock Police Department. The vehicle features sound off signals, blueprint electrical control system. So up top we have a 48 inch Enforce dual color light bar, which was repurposed off another vehicle. Um, up front we have the Weston Elite push bumper with sound off signal Enforces in tri-color facing front and the sides. These have the white override feature that give them uh, front takedown, left and right alley. Uh, we have the headlight flasher set to park kill. Taking a look at the side, we have sound off signal uh, under mirror intersectors with the bracket in dual color, and then we have Enforce deck grow lights in dual color. Uh, these lights have the white override feature, and they also have white as a secondary color. They're only dual color, so what happens is in drive, uh, the white flashing is flashing, which gives them more visibility responding to a call. So taking a look at the back of the vehicle, up top we have sound off signal single deck grill lights in dual color, they're red and blue. Um, in the tail lights, we're flashing the parking lamp, and then we're also flashing a uh, white hideaway in the reverse light housing. Uh, what we've done is we shut the flashing off in park, either at the ring or the hideaway, and then reverse, it also gives them an additional white steady here. And then our license plates, we have three inch sound off signal M powers in tricolor. These also have the white override feature for reverse. So it helps them with uh, backing up at night in dark areas and also provides additional scene lighting. Let's take a look at the back of the vehicle with the hatch open. You can see that we've shut off the lights on the hatch and we've also shut off the lights on the license plate so that they're not shining up into the sky and these aren't reflecting down to you at night. This is all done through the Blueprint OBD2 interface with the system. On the hatch lip, we've got four inch sound off signal M powers. We have a 12 inch sound off signal strip light on the hatch. These are all controlled by the Blueprint system. Um, we've installed their radar system. And then you can see we have the second row seat partition. And then you can see that the Fab Shop fabricated an aluminum panel to cover up the electronics. All their electronics securely mounted back there, which allows for easy serviceability and helps protect them. So taking a look at the second row seat area, we have the full replacement Centina partition with the center out seat belts. With the plastic transport seat, you can see we have their weapons rack mounted, uh, their e-ticket printer mounted, uh, their flashlight installed, um, their radio speakers been mounted up to the headliner. So taking a look at the console, we have the Gamber Johnson angled series console with their blooper controller, their radios installed. We have the L3 system for their camera system. We've got the Mongoose Gamber mount, and then we have their Havis Shields docking station for their computer. We've installed their radar with the front and rear radar. We've got a panel up here for their camera system, and then we've got the other radar mounted up front here. 